Let's do a quick video here on adjusting the K-Rain series of rotating nozzles. It's good to know what you're dealing with first, and so every series of rotating nozzles are color-coded, and we go to the manufacturer's website to find the stats and find what we're dealing with here. So this one's green, there's also a red and blue. And so actually what this is here is the RN100 adjustable and it's got a radius range from 13 to 15 feet, and it's got an arc adjustment between 80 degrees and 360 degrees. We can adjust the arc, whether it's wet or dry. You can set this up because it has a little white mark here on the left limit. It's left justified or the left limit is fixed, and so we're gonna use the ratcheting action of our spray head to adjust that. And then we're gonna use this green ring to open this up or close it it's actually kind of hard to do when it's running like i said you can do this wet or dry but there's also a little tool that k rain makes that you can slip over this and spin that around to open it or close it it kind of fits down over this here but there's also a little arrow over here to where you can set it up dry and be pretty close on the adjustment and only have to fine tune it now there's also a, an adjustment for the radius or how far it shoots, and it's this green ring here. And we only have the adjustment on this one between 13 to 15 feet. And these usually ship at maximum radius. So what we need to do is then adjust this. So you've got to actually kind of grab a hold of this and turn it counterclockwise to close that up. And then it shortens the radius down to 13 feet. And we'll open it right back up. I'm going to give you a couple of notes here on changing the nozzle. Just really quickly, if you have a nozzle that's clogged up or it's not rotating and you need to change it, I suggest that you go and get you a Rainbird spray head tool or something similar, but this one's designed specifically for this. So while it's running, and like I said, we want to remember that we're probably at grade here, so what we want to do is when we turn the water off, we want to stop this stem from going back down and then sucking in some dirt or whatever. If we're going to change the nozzle, we want to make sure it's clean as possible. So while it's running, we come out here with our Rainbird spray head tool. We put it on there, go and shut the zone off. We'll remove our old nozzle. Go back to the timer, or if you're doing this manually, and turn your zone back on for just a little bit and flush any contaminants out of the head. Then we come in with a fresh new nozzle put it back on and we have our little white mark here to go ahead and rough adjust it. So we want to set that up where we want it. Take this back off, go back, turn the zone back on, and then do our fine tune adjustments on there and you're good to go.